Sable. 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 Abel. The S is silent. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Christ. And I'm Witchley. And we are playing a demo called Sable. Sable. This is part of the Xbox Summer Game Fest uh, thing that they're doing this this week, where we uh, where they played uh, they have a bunch of demos out. Yes. So, and this is one of them. And this one looked really interesting just by the art style for me. Um, I don't know much of this game other than the art style looks really beautiful. Yeah, he was really drawn in by the art style. Arts, art, the art is always what sells me sometimes. Yeah. Like Haven was the one that did it last year where I was like, this looks great. And obviously the story was really good. So. Oh, I had a great story. So I'm wondering what this, what this entails. So let's just dive on in. Yes. Again, I thought I was at the menu, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know how long these, I mean, some of these demos that we've been playing have been so short. It's a nice loading screen. Right? I like the, it reminds me a little bit of like, um, Shadow of the Colossus, like some of the art style. And I have oh, one okay. on my arm that kind of like, yeah, has a little bit of like, the picture up here. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the magic symbol. So. Shed works. Sh Shed works. Is this the game or is this like the developers that worked on it? Shedworks. Oh, they could have they could have turned off the Shedworks at that point. <laughs> but giving you guys some pointers, Shedworks. Come on. Let's go. There's a snake in it. Oh, that's not a snake. That's a it's like a beetle or something. It looked kind of like a snake from the head. Didn't that look weird for a moment? What the bug thing? Yeah, the bug. Oh, I guess I could see that. Is that me? I love the art style though. I think your name is Sable. Sable, okay. I think that's why it's called Sable. Interesting. Are we doing some think. Indiana Jones stuff right now? Ooh. <laughs> I have no face, so I must look at this one. How can you see through that lens? I don't even know how. Is it like... You see through your third eye. It's like when you're wearing a mask. Like at Halloween Maybe or something. Sable. Oh, so you are Sable. Okay, so okay, I'm moving around. I can jump. Can I climb on you? I oh, can. Wow. Holy crap! I was just guessing. So it's like Breath of the Wild a little bit, and I am just stuck. Okay, well, I learned my lesson. All right, let's go this way. I love like the frames that when you're moving, it doesn't look like. It's really neat. It's really neat. I like it. It doesn't hurt my eyes, but I like it. Because I know most games I've been playing now are just basically or 60 frames per second and whatnot, but I really like this art style and the frames on this thing. Yeah. It kind of works for the art. It does. Like, feels like, uh, what, like a cr cartoon? Oh, what, what, do, what do you think? What's the best? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. Dog kind of freaked out there for a moment but well, i was actually saying <laughs> i was saying whoa because of the like the scope look at that my yeah. goodness there's something flying up there too it's like a hot air balloon of sorts all right let's go down crows bye crows this is pretty oh i don't know if i can take fall damage or not so sprinting, sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> This basically feels like Breath of the Wild a little bit because you can just oh. climb on this thing. So look at this, so you can climb this. That this is literally really like Breath of the Wild. So this is, I'm glad someone finally did this because I always found it like, I mean, that game is like four years old now at this point. Yeah. So I just found it interesting that no one has actually copied it yet, like to this extent, like where you could just climb on anything or most of the thing, most things, you know? Yeah. So, all right, we're in a camp called Ebex Camp. Ebex. Looks looks like your hometown, maybe. Look at that hay. Yeah. Look at that guy. Oh wow. I'll, he had a robot leg. Did you yes, see that? I did. I can feel. I can feel JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly sweet amused in her eyes. I probably have very little to worry about. 
I Wait, don't think was you I... were talking as... <laughs> as Sable? Yeah. I guess uh, that's the voice for Sable now. You wanna do JD? <laughs> she sounds like that already. You wanna do J uh, JD? Uh, sure. You know I have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Oh, the voice runs in the family, got it. <laughs> and yet... No, 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 no. I shrug, but any attempt to act <laughs> casual or fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ev ever been more aware of my little shoulders, she laughs. Oh, is this like, it's like a book. Like, ah. it's like talking in, what, third person? Interesting. Wait, no, wait, first person, right? No, wait, she laughs. Would that be third person? You're a writer. Yeah, that would be like third person. I mean it. But I do not know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you will act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like claws gripping into me, onto me. <laughs> I feel the memory in my fingers. <laughs> but then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. J.D. reaches... Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot how I did the voice. J.D. reaches out. Just give her a new voice. J.D. reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I thank J.D. for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. So let's get you started. You need to talk to Hilda and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilda will share something. Well, let's say, as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what JD's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. What if I chose the wrong path? I'll be back soon. I tell JD I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? I'm tired of you. You need to go. <laughs> she knows me. She knows me way too well. Now go speak with... Oh, wait. Now go speak with Hilda. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Drist as well. I've told him, oh, to arrange your bike with Sizzo. But you know how he is. I have... Wait. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. This is interesting. Alright, hold compass. Oh wow, that is cool. It tells you where you need to go. That is cool. So, obviously right here. Let me go talk to Hilda. Or Hilla. Hila? You kept saying Hilda. Oh, was I saying Hilda? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. As I approach Hilla, 
uh, Hylia. We'll just, you know what? Hi. Hilda. Hilda it is. <laughs> Hilda. They give it an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilda's verb and vigor. It's just silent, okay? Uh, yeah. It's a silent name. Yeah. And on a day like this, the is I'm, invisible, but it's there. I'm ready to match it with a, a touch of nerves for balance. Shable. Take this. Everybody sounds old here. It's all, everyone sounds old. <laughs> Hilda hands me a small round stone as it nestles into my palm. I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilda's hand, hands, <laughs> but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like a static on cloth. What's this? What's this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Hilda what this is. I'll, I'll change his voice, okay? Right. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. I'm so sorry I was calling you Hilda. <laughs> what? I've got... I, I've just given you a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilda that I feel... <laughs> what? Do you like Hilda? <laughs> Why you... was I saying Hilda? <laughs> I don't know. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I, t I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They they suck it up like power, like a sponge, and they hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty, or dormant, as you might say, and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilda claps his cheeks. I meant his hands <laughs> twice and bobs a little. I appreciate the, the, their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilda stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to give that ready. Uh, he was meant to get that ready for you. Yes. I remember that. Remember JD's words. Uh, now and tell Hilda I'll go to see Driss. <laughs> All right, quest started. Whispering Sorry, stones. Hilda. Sorry, Hilda. Your name is Hilda now. <laughs> it was on purpose. It seems like it was on purpose, but you're just not going to admit it. I thought I was reading Hilda. This is really cool. I like this. This game is going to be fun. I think this is going straight to Game Pass when it comes out. I don't know when. That'll be cool. Most of these games that are on the the Games Fest thing are up for for like I think Game Pass. Is that, is that a bong? Is that a hookah? <laughs> Looks like a bong. Looks like a hookah bong. All right. All right, you want to do the voice for this one? <laughs> Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not uh, to do to not race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I'm strongly suspecting that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom features. What will it? What will its name be? I wonder. How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. I can't think of a voice. I'll do it. it. Shable. Uh, hello. Hello. How are you today? I ask Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment, but I can't do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. <laughs> Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike? Your bike, yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That is what I meant to, uh, that I prepared for you because today is your... Gliding, yes. Driss nods along with me. <laughs> yes, of course, right, yes, yes, I do have it at. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? <laughs> By which I mean I arranged it for you, and, uh, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? Uh, yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can get their own bike, they must build it. You know, get all the parts. <laughs> they must prove that they can ride the bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it, it and I... not have a bike for <laughs> I think about it and I find I never heard... Of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. I'm, I'm wondering if he's like, yes, uh, the bike, uh, uh, I gotta fix it, shit. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. 
Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, a tester if, if I've, I've ever, ever seen, seen one. one. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be gentle, though. I, a sand cutter's old, then J JD, you treat her with respect. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. All right. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I can strafe. How does it feel? It, uh, it's interesting. You can switch to a strafing thing, or or you can start steering it and kind of like like do some like uh, curves or what's what's the drifting? Yeah, kind of interesting. It doesn't go as fast as I thought it would go. Well, it is an old one. Yeah. All right, I made it. I should speak to Driss. I did. I did what he asked of me. This is this is really cool, though. I'm wondering how open this game is because it looks really open. It's really beautiful. And I wonder if I can just go like like the Zelda approach, where like could I go up to that mountain up there? You know. Yeah. I wonder. Right, let's get off. I forgot how to get off. Um. I got off. I think. <laughs> it put it like kind of hopped me off. I returned to Driss who somehow manages to seem caught off guard, despite knowing I was coming. <laughs> Sable, c congratulations, how was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean by fires? Uh, surely you noticed if you were on fire, even a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. No <laughs> fires on me. <laughs> Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been uh, to H Hilda? <laughs> We're all calling him that now. He's kind of caught nickname. on. What's his nickname? He kind of caught on pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, am, am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. He did not make my bike. No. My little errands. And Hilda's got something to show you, too. Help help you out with more of that uh, mobility you, you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only slightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for, for Hilda. I thought I already talked to Hilda. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Look again. Let's look again. Uh, I need to complete tasks for Hilda and Driss. Okay, well, I already know Hilda wants me to go to that, like, area. Right? Oh. He wants me to go he wants me to go to that like dune area, right? I thought this... the bike to do that? Yeah, I'm gonna activate it. Yeah, because I need to get over there. That'd be quite a trek. So I'm gonna actually take the bike. Bye, Driss. Better make my bike. Cause this one ain't cutting it. I'm kidding. I do like that there's like like just air coming out. Look at that. That's so cool. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, so we need to go that way. Cause that's what Hilda, who now has that awesome nickname. Hilda, Hilda, wake up, Hilda. Wake up, Hilda. Yeah. <laughs> I think you said I think you said uh, wake up, Hilda, like Wikipedia. Wake up, Hilda. Wake up, Hilda. Is that is that like a? I think it's Lord doing this. Oh, it's been so long since I've heard that. It's cute though. It's very cute. All right, looks like that's where we're going. I wonder if this is where it's gonna stop the the demo. I wonder how long this demo is, because this was quite a big demo to actually, like, install to, so I'm wondering if it's, like, pretty big. But we'll find out when we go up here and activate our gliding stone. I, uh, this is really good. What do you find so intriguing about this so far, other than Hilda? <laughs> the art style is very nice to look at. I like it. it it's... I love some of the mechanics because they just base. I'm not saying that they took. I mean, at this point, nothing's an original thought yeah. or an original idea. But like, yeah, the fact that you can just climb almost anything is basically from Zelda. So, yeah. you know, I love that idea. Take it. You know, I don't yeah. think it's a bad idea. All right, we're gonna go to a gliding. Oh God! Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh dear! That was uh that could have went a lot worse. I could yeah, I don't know if I could have taken fall damage. You probably could have died. Looks like I need to get up there. I love that it's kinda like a cell shading 
look to it, especially at nighttime. Look at this. It's like really nice. Yeah. All right. It looks like right up there is where we need to go. Where all those lights are. Let's go to the lights. Our dogs are just like sleeping on you. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is this it? The gliding stone? Sable's a woman, right? Because that looks like a That's woman. A, well, I'm thinking, yeah. I don't want to assume. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Or maybe it feels right? Oh. I am ready for R Rahana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. I am in her sight. It must be like their god that they worship or whatever. What is that little orb? You see that orb? A little Ooh. ball? Oh, there's, there's, there must be dust. That's kind of cool. There's like dust everywhere. Little pebbles. Ooh, look at all the colors. Very pretty. The colors of the wind. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm now worried. I don't think this is safe. This is definitely not dolphin safe. Oh dear. Uh. Sable? You okay? Time has passed. Yeah, you can see the daytime kind of like. And it went from night to day. I wonder if it's like a day-night cycle in the game. Kind of like what Zelda did. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, am I hidden? It, it, left, it lifted me up. It did. Well, this is okay. Can to explain this one to me? What happened? Firmly grasp it. All right, uh, hold the glide in midair. Whoa, that is so cool. I can glide. This is amazing. That's so cool. Again, kind of like just like Zelda with his glider. <laughs> or not, not Zelda, sorry, Link in his glider, sorry. A lot of people were gonna be like, oh my god, did you just call Link Zelda? You're not a true Zelda fan. Not a true Zelda fan <laughs> at all, no. Oh shit, I messed up. Yes, you did. Uh, maybe I can make it, maybe I can make it. No! I got the gliding, Wait, it's okay. was there like... There's yeah, a ladder. Oh wait, there's a, there's a chest! I'm going back down. Oh, nice. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna kick it. Really, oh no, I don't kick it. I got credits. Little, hey, a little uh, diamond thingies. This is really cool. I wonder how much longer do we have on this demo? Though it probably could... has a specific ending point. But I'm enjoying what I have so far. I don't want it to end. We, I can make it. This is so cool. You're like Glenda, the good witch. The good witch. She's in a little bubble. All right, we made it. We did it. Car. Where's my bike? My bike's right there. I'm just gonna go to it. Show Hilda the activated gliding stone. I will. I will. I'll do that right now. We're gonna head back. I love that you can just fall and then glide and then fall and then glide and then fall and then get on and let's go. All right, so let's go talk to Hilda. This is loving the belly rubs. Oh, that's her like go-to now. She's like belly rub. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. All it's right. Cute. I'll talk to it. I'll talk to it. Driss later, but Hilda, new nickname by the way, <laughs> is uh, you love that. I'm a dork. It's, it's funny though. I love it. We're keeping it. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's a little. Oh, that was weird. weird. That was weird. What is that? I'll look at it later. It's just a floating cube. Driss, I met Hilda. <laughs> sorry about that name. <laughs> When I return to Hilda, it's clear that he didn't like that name. <laughs> but it's also clear that they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Is he did you know? Wait, I forgot how he did his name, his voice. 
Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Uh, strain. Wait, safe like a warm hug. It's exciting, true freedom. I tell Hilla that the hovering is exciting and ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want. Hilda's mood doesn't darken. <laughs> but the sight that they, they let out holds a bit of sorrow. He sighs because he doesn't like Hilda. The name Hilda. <laughs> You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might have never have gotten the name Hilda and come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. 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 I said chasms. <laughs> I'll heave myself into ch chasms for you. <laughs> I tell Hilda I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf. And they, and they giggle. giggle. They say they. That's weird. Interesting. Right, yeah. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know what they, uh, what, I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. Takes really serious focus. Hilda laughs because he's now laughing at his own name. <laughs> Even if there's a little bit of regret in him. <laughs> and I certainly haven't gotten that. Still, I suppose that, that gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all just gains and no loss. Hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much lo loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for, for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about the ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you just put joy first. I thank Hilda for, the, for their advice <laughs> and for their help and tell them and I'll miss them and I hope you enjoy the nickname I just gave you. It'll be over before you know it. A warming and reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Hilda. Before I go, Hilda gestures towards the tower. It seems Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. I feel like we're about to, uh, about, the demo's about to be done. I right, think, uh, I think. I think you're right. But we gotta go up there real quick and talk to Sizzo or whatever his name is. Sizzle. Sizzle. Uh, well, we're getting me a new nickname. That's for sure. Sizzle. A new nickname. Oh, Shizzle. <laughs> that's a good one. Otis, why are you whining about that name? That's a good name. <laughs> should I, sh should we change your name, Otis? Is that what you want? We can nah. call you Hilda. He's like, no, he stopped. He doesn't like that name. He stopped whining. <laughs> He's like, Mom, why? Stop. Stop it. All right. Sizzo is an out clanner to the Embexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. And th think of her more of, of, a, uh, of as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Mechanist, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training in their code. Must go to where they are needed, but CISO has uh, been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clan that the Invexi are quite insular. Insular? Is I said that right? Insular, or yeah. that our designation of Mbexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous other othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nom nomadic, nomadic nature. Nomadic nature. <laughs> we seek to uh, to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. I'll let you do Cizo since it's a woman. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike. <laughs> Excited for my bike. A bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? Cizo <laughs> uh. has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, JD told me how excited you were. Cizo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have. I knew it. 
What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell I tell her that I was just clearing my throat. Right, child. I don't begrudge Duris his forgetfulness. Where were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts. Oh, wait, no, that's you. Sorry. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own hover bike? I asked Cizo if I'm expected to make my own hover bike. No, you are not going to make your hover bike. You are going to build your own hover bike. Forget dress. What's the difference? <laughs> of course. Uh, to make the just... You are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. That's one way to look at it. That is very interesting. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Caesar hands me something. Did you just make a Zelda reference? I love you. No, you she's the one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, she's the one. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Cizo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on the Great Rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather the control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Three things! Yes. Be back before you know it. I tell Caesar that I'll see her soon, and I head off in search of the components. Together, we will create something new out of the old. Okay, well that is a big Shit. quest to figure out. Using your navigator. Okay, so you'll move the cursor. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you'll actually go in that general direction and mark it. So you're like right. Huh. So I'll mark it right. Yeah, so it's right over there. Okay, so right there. Oh, I marked two. Oops. Okay, I'll just, I know what to do. Okay. Well, that is a big thing to like, you know, kind of do. But I, th I think it'd be good to stop here. Yeah, that way we don't get too far in, and I'm really interested in this. I think there's a lot to this game. Especially with the demo. Game. Especially with the demo, it's really interesting. I like it. It's really cool. Yeah, definitely a lot of Zelda vibes. I can see the appeal for this game. What is this? Chum egg! We got a chum egg! Oh, wow! Perfectly round and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. They must be a good place to put these. There must be a good place to put these, is I think that's what I'm saying. Interesting. Well, I think we'll have to leave you here for this episode of Sable. There is a lot more to the demo than I thought. Yeah. But I think I think what we have so far is a good teaser. If you guys want to see us play this when the full release comes out, please let us know in the comments below and drop a like. And also, glide your way to that bell to subscribe <laughs> yes. so you can keep updated on our future shenanigans. Until then, I'm crazed. And I'm Witchley. Grumble on.